welcome back to my channel. Teresa Love here. Thank you so much for clicking it. It means so much. I just created a bookstagram and I've been taking pictures of books and writing quotes down and doing like cool like bookish hearts and shelfies and a ton of different th stuff. I've been having so much fun talking to the book community and finding people that also have a love for books like I do. If you could like this video, that would totally help out my channel. I would love to make more book related videos. And if you could subscribe, that's the little red button on the bottom. I would love for you to join the family. Thanks. I am trying a new book related filming setup, so I'll have to see how it goes. I am on a high stool and I'm holding myself by my desk in front of me so that I do not fall over. So for today's video, I wanted to do a January and February wrap up of all the books that I read in January and February. On Goodreads, there's this awesome section called the Reading Challenge and every year you can mark how many books that you want to read in that year and as you mark them on Goodreads, like you're currently reading and then you finish that book and then you finish another book, then it adds up and it tells you how much percentage you are to your reading goal of the whole year. For my reading goal, I decided to do 50 books. Last year, since I'm chronically ill, I read a lot because it is a great way to transport into different worlds and to get my mind off of my symptoms and help me pass the day with my fatigue and everything. I feel very accomplished when I finish a book. So for my reading challenge, I did 50 books. So for January and February, I read a total of 10 books and I just thought I would share my wrap up and tell you about each book and tell you what I thought of it, but no spoilers. The first book I read of 2019 is The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. I gave this book a 4 out of 5 stars. I really enjoyed this book. It is about a girl named Star and her world is shattered when she's the only witness to a police shooting. And it's a very eye-opening book. I learned a lot about different cultures and different lifestyles. And I would definitely recommend this book, but be prepared, it is an emotional book. The next book I read is Midnight Sun by Trish Cook. This book I originally gravitated toward because I love the book Everything Everything by Nicola Yon. I just like the medical journey stories now as long as they don't involve cancer. I rated this Midnight Sun book a 4 out of 5 stars. I really enjoyed it. This is about an 18 year old girl, Katie Price, who has a rare disease that she's allergic to the sun. And she cannot go out in the sun at all, so she only comes out at night. And then of course there's a boy next door, and there's emotions and romance and relationships, and it's super cute. And it's a very emotional roller coaster of a book though, so be prepared. I saw this commercial on TV and it has Bella Thorne, one of my actresses that I like from TV, and she's in it and I still have to see the movie, but I really enjoyed the book. Next, I read the book Part of Your World, A Twisted Tale by Liz Broswell. First of all, this cover is gorgeous. It says, what if Ariel had never defeated Ursula? This story is five years after the Little Mermaid was defeated by Ursula and King Triton was taken also. Ariel is the queen of Atlantica and she just thinks she's just going to live her life underwater. But little does she know, she goes on a search and rescue mission and lots of awesome, crazy, and wild stuff happens and we get to see her again on land. And it was a really good book. I also have the Mulan version and the Beauty and the Beast version of The Twisted Tale, which I am definitely going to read. Next, I read the book Glass House, which is the Morganville Vampires. This is book one, and I read it on that Scribd audiobook app, and I loved listening to it. It was just, I think it only took like two days every time I, listen to a book because it's only like eight hours 
and I loved listening to it and I loved the different voices. This is about Claire Danvers who goes to college when she's just turned 17 and she's really smart but she moves into a house that she finds out there is less life there than expected and she finds out that the town has a ton of vampires. And then the story just continues from that and crazy stuff happens and you should definitely read it to check it out. I also gave this book a 4 out of 5 stars. After I read book 1, I read book 2, The Dead Girls Dance, 4 out of 5 stars, Midnight Alley, book 3, Feast of Fools, book 4, Lord of Misrule, book 5, Carpe Corpus, book 6, and then I took a break because after I kept on reading, I was like, I still have like seven more books in the series and it's a ton and I have no idea how I'm going to remember all this. So I had this awesome idea. I don't know if you've ever been reading a series and you're like, like let's say it came, the book series came out with two books and then next year they came out with the three. Well you read the two books when they first came out but then you're like, what was that story about? Wait, why did that happen? Why is it important? Or you're starting the next book, like the third book, and you're like, when did this person come in? I never knew that could happen. What? And, and sometimes the author likes to do this funny thing where they do not recap the book at all before. So you're just reading and you're like super lost. Well, I fixed that dilemma. I have a cute mermaid journal and it has lines on it. Since I was like, okay, I'm not sure if I'm going to read all the Morganville Vampire books right now, but I want to keep reading them eventually. So what I did was I wrote down Morganville Vampires, and I wrote down all the characters. Then you turn the page, and I did a summary of each of the books. So I have book one which is three pages, book two, which is two pages, book three, which is two pages, book four, book five, which is two pages, book six, which is four pages, and then I left room for book seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12, 13, and 14. So after I read, read book one through six of the Morganville Vampires, I went on to A Wrinkle in Time by Mad Madeline L'Engle. Shiny. This is the 50th anniversary book, and it's about a girl named Meg and her brother Charles Wallace and her friend Calvin. And years ago, her dad disappeared because he was working on a government project. And she ends up traveling to this different world and going on search and rescue to find him. I actually saw this movie first and I really loved the movie and I was like, I definitely want to read the book. I've never read the book in school because I wasn't because I wasn't at school long enough in that year. I also gave this book a 4 out of 5 stars. I really really enjoyed it though and I thought it had a lot of great quotable moments. I also wrote down A Wrinkle in Time in my notebook. The next book I am currently reading is House of Night Marked. This is book one of The House of Night and I've read books one through four and I totally loved them but I wanted to start the series all over again to create the magic again and I'm also writing down what the a summary of each book that I read in my notebook so that if I want to take on break, a break on this series too which is 12 books then I can always go back and jump right in and I'll be able to catch up. I am 40% through this book and I'm loving every second of it and then after that book I'll be starting Betrayed 
which is book two in the House of Night series. That was my first um, wrap-up, book wrap-up ever. I did January and February, and I read 10 books, and this one will be 11. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye! I will hunger eating, reaping. Holy crap, that's long. Yeah, I realized that was a long time. <laughs> Kaliel. Kaliel? Um, the maid, you know, like all these different.